Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make this checkered bag and let's just get into it. To get started, you're going to need two colors of yarn. I used about 120 grams of each and this is 100% cotton yarn. And I used a four millimeter crochet hook because that's the one that was best suited to the size of yarn. Then you're also going to need a pair of scissors and you're also going to need a little needle to weave in your loose ends all the way at the end. So you're going to start off with making a chain. So at first you're going to need to make a slip knot and then you can make the amount of chains you want. And it's important when making the chains that you make sure that the amount of chains you make can be divided by the width of every single square. Uh, so like how many chains you want in every square. So I wanted every square to be 12 chains wide. So I made 60 chains. So if you want to do that as well. And then at the end, I added two more chains to make the edge to go up to create our first like line of real stitches. Uh, and I'm doing that now. And then you're going to wrap around your crochet hook and go into the next stitch, not the ones you just made, but the one before that. Make sure to count well so you don't make a mistake here. And then you're going to make double crochets. And you're going to make 12 double crochets. Well, actually, make 11, and then the 12th one we're going to switch to the next color. And I'll show you how to do that. But you're going to make 12 double crochets first. Then we're going to make our 12th double crochet, and here is where we're going to switch colors. So we're going to start off as normal, and you're just going to pull it through like that, and then you have two more loops. But instead of pulling it through, we're going to add another color, and that is our light pink for me. And you're just going to like grab it and put it on your uh, crochet hook, and you're just going to hold that tight and just pull it through the loops. And then you're going to use the long strand of uh, light pink to continue making double crochets. And you're going to make 11 double crochets with the pink and then a 12th one we're going to switch back again to dark pink. And you're just going to do that all the way until you reach the end of the row. And if it's a little confusing, for me it was confusing the first time I learned how to do this too, but you just watch some parts of the video again and you'll be able to figure it out pretty well. I just take some practice, um, but it's actually really easy when you get the hang of it. When you reach the end of the row, we're going to continue onto the next row. And to do that, you're going to chain two, and then you're going to turn your work, and you're just going to continue doing double crochets into the same stitches again. Make sure you don't do it into the change and you do it into your last double crochet of the row. And you're just going to do the, uh, for me, the dark pink above the dark pink and the light pink above the light pink, or whichever colors you have. And you're going to do this for four rows in total. So this is our second one. So after this one, you want to do two more. And then I'll get back to you. It's also important that you hold the other color behind it and that that one is always behind the stitch over your crochet hook. Because otherwise, it will look really bad at the back because this way it will work it in. So um, really don't forget that because otherwise it will not work. When you've done four rows, you will have the base of your bag, and now we're going to start working on the edges. So to do this, we're going to work all the way around the whole base. So instead of just going back and forth, we're going all the way around. And you're just going to want to start on the place where you actually just came from. So you're going to um, switch colors um, because we want four rows for every square. So now we're going to switch onto our next color. And you're just going to pull it through. I'm showing you how to do that on screen and chain two with the new color. And then you're going to turn your work. And then we're just going to do double crochets into those stitches. Just go all the way to the end of the row here. And then instead of turning back, I'll show you what to do next. When you get to the end, as you can see, I've left two stitches on and we're going to pull the next color through. And you want 
the opposite color above the sides, the long sides, but the short sides you're going to want to actually put the same color um, because then the colors keep alternating. So it looks the nicest when the bag is completed. And as you can see, we're putting double crochets into the side here as well. There are no existing stitches. Um, it's the side of the stitches, so it's kind of difficult. But you just want to make sure that you put the right amount of stitches in the side, which is 12, because that's what we've used for all the squares. Just really make sure, count like twice, three times, how many times until you feel sure that you have 12 stitches. Um, and you're just going to do this, and then on the 12th stitch we're going to switch the other color and go back along the other side and there's a little bit something complicated with that as well so I'll show you how to do that as well so as you can see here I'm just pulling the next color through and it's a little bit difficult here you want to make sure that you put it in the right stitch um, because there's 12 but obviously you want to kind of count to make sure I already counted um, because these stitches are the bottom of our original work. They're like the original chain. So they're kind of tough to get your crochet hook through. But don't worry because this is only the really the only time you have to do that in this whole project. At the end, you're, you're, after this, you're just going to keep going in circles. So this is really the most difficult part. And you're just going to do 12 of the light pink, then switch to the dark pink, and then just continue on all the way down this long side of the work. Then when you get to the end of that row, we're doing the last side, and it's again this like wobbly side stitch area. So again, you're just going to want to make sure you do 12. And as you can see, I'm doing the hot pink here again, even though there's already a hot pink square underneath, but otherwise there won't be actual squares. Um, and you're just going to do double crochets there as well. At the end of that row, we're going to switch back to the light pink color. And we're going into the stitches we made all the way at the beginning when we started working around and as you can see there's 12 there I'm just counting to make sure I go into the right one and I don't accidentally go into the side and then you're just going to make those 12 stitches switch to the next color and you're literally just going to keep going in circles until you have made four rows which is one square and then you're going to switch the colors on top to make the squares alternate so they're not just lines um, and yeah, and then you're just going to keep doing that all the way till your bag is the height you want it to be. This is my bag after making five rows of squares, and I'm now at the end of my last row. Well, not five rows of squares, which is actually five times four. Um, but five squares, whole squares, and we're now going to finish off the work. And to do that, um, you want to leave three stitches um, that you can do your things in. So here I'm just doing one more double crochet, and then I will have my three stitches left to make it finish it off. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet in that first stitch. So for the last three stitches, first a half double crochet. Then we're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch after this. And then the last one, we're going to do a slip stitch. And I'm just showing you for if you don't know how to do those, um, they are very simple stitches, but then you know how to do them now. That's the single crochet and the slip stitch I'm doing just here. And then we are going to tie off our work in a second. And um, we're going to cut off the thread. When cutting it off, you want to leave a little bit so you can work it in later. Um, but I also like to tie a little knot because there's two threads here. Just make sure you do it carefully so you don't pull in the stitches too far. So I just do the first one very carefully and then the second one I tighten it a little. And this just also just helps that your bag won't like unravel or anything. Now we're going to start with the next step, which is making the straps, and we're going to do one strap at a time. So what you want to do is find the bottom line that you made, and then work up the side from that, and then you have one square, and then you have two squares next to it. So as you can see, I have three squares here, and that's where we're going to make our first strap. And if you have a different width or size of square, um, you're going to need to do it differently, but it's about one third of the bag for each strap. I'm doing it actually here as a fourth. Uh, but generally it's between a third and a fourth of the whole bag is one strap. 
So to do this, you're going to make a slip knot and put it onto your crochet hook. And then you're going to put your crochet hook in that first square um, on the first stitch. And I'm starting on the one all the way at the right. And then you're going to pull the thread through and you're actually going to make a slip stitch. It is a little finicky because the slip knot can be very tight. So I'm kind of struggling here, but I got it eventually. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start the um, strap. So what I'm doing here is I'm going back in the same stitch and I'm going in with a double crochet but I'm not doing the full double crochet because we're going to decrease on each side of the bag every single time so I want to leave two stitches on here and then I'm going to go into the next stitch I'm kind of struggling here because the cotton yarn tends to slip apart into smaller pieces so I'm struggling to get a piece here um, but now I have two left and then we're going to wrap the thread around our crochet hook again and go into the next stitch and then we're going to pull the thread through two more of those stitches and then at the end we're going to pull through all three that are left and this will have made two stitches into one stitch and you're going to do this on each side every single time so we're going to work to the other side now just with double crochets, no decreasing anymore. And then when you reach the other side and you have two left, we're going to make the next decrease there. And I'll show you how to do that when it's at the end as well. And then you're going to work up and decrease again, and then go to the other side and decrease again. So you really have to decrease on both sides every time. So we've reached the other side with only two stitches left, and we've crossed those three squares. So now we're going to decrease again. So you're going to start with a double crochet, but then when you have two loops left on your crochet hook, you're going to throw the string around and go into the next one and then pull it through two again and then pull through all three. And now we're going to work upwards to start the next row. And to do that, you're going to want to chain two and then we're going to turn our work. It's a big bag now, so it will be a little messy. And then we're going to work into the last double crochet again, but we're also going to decrease now, so don't forget that. So first start on our double crochet, pull through two, and then when you have two loops left, you're going to go into the next one, and then you're going to pull through two again, and then you're going to pull through the last three, and then we've decreased again. So really make sure you do this on each end, every single row, and you're going to do this until you reach the width that you want the actual strap to be on your shoulder. I also wanted to show you guys how to switch colors on these sides the most seamlessly. So when you're doing the um, decrease, um, because it's on the side, you can kind of see, you're going to see some thread through it. That's kind of inevitable. Um, but you want to see, make like a slightly more seamless um, transition from color to color when you're switching to the next square above that's going to be a different color. You're just going to do your decrease um, almost to the end, but then you're going to finish it off a little bit different. When you have three stitches left, you're going to pull the other color through. And as you can see, that's going to look a lot more seamless in a second. Um, it's kind of fun with all your threads getting tangled, but um, this will look a lot nicer. And then you're just going to continue just chaining up and continuing on your next square and this will just make it look a lot nicer and yeah i just think this makes the side look more seamless then eventually you'll get to the width that you want your strap to be and i wanted mine to be eight stitches and that's where i was now so i'm turning my work and i'm starting on the next thing and i have eight stitches now and i don't want it to be any smaller so I'm going to stop doing decreases so I'm just going to do normal double crochets in every single stitch and you're just going to keep going back and forth until your strap is the length you want it to be and the amount of rows I did to get up to this point were actually 14 which is three and a half squares and after that I did 12 more rows without the decrease which is about three squares but actually I had two full squares and two halves um, to make the transition to the other strap more seamless and when you have done those rows you can also make the strap longer obviously if you prefer that 
but I wanted this one to be a little bit more under the like arm bag and not a longer bag but obviously make the strap as long as you want it to be or as short as you want it to be so when you finally finish the first strap we're going to tie this off and then we're going to make the other strap to do that we're just going to cut off the excess thread and then we're going to pull the uh, thread through uh, like I'm showing you right here and then I just like to tie these two together just so they don't untangle but make sure you tie them carefully again so you don't pull the stitch into the knot because then it'll be really hard to get your crochet hook back in there so just tie the first knot gently and then the second one you can tie it a little tighter and then you're just going to want to make the other strap exactly the same as this one no differences just that it's on the other side and then I'll get back to you then when you finish the other strap you're going to want to turn your bag inside out so what you want to be the inside should be on the outside and then we're going to attach the two straps make sure you turn it inside out though because you'll see a slight attachment on the straps and I'm going to show you how to attach the straps now and you're going to stick it you're actually going to take your um, crochet hook out of the other loop and pull that loop up and then you're going to put it in the first stitch of the other one and then you're going to stick your crochet hook in that big loop that you just took it out of, of earlier and then you're just going to tighten that loop and we're actually going to pull that loop through to the other side and you might struggle a little because the first and last stitches on your strap will be a little bit tighter uh, but then eventually you'll get it through and then what I did is I just chained one um, to make sure that it was secure and then what I did is I stuck my needle back in the same stitch on one side but then I stuck it in the first one on the other side because we didn't go in there yet to make sure that they're aligned and then we're going to do like this kind of slip stitch thing all over to make sure that it's secure so when you finally get your crochet hook through you're going to grab the thread and pull it through and then you're also going to pull it through the loop that's already in your crochet hook so that's going to be a slip stitch it's a little hard and I'm kind of out of frame right now because I was struggling and you're just going to do that in every single stitch so you're going to do the second stitch on the side and the second stitch on the other side and you're going to do the same thing I'll show it again to um, show you how to do it this one is also again not in frame there it is um, and then you're going to just do that all the way till the end and this will make sure that they're attached and when you've gone into the last stitch you can cut off your thread and then pull it through and then I like to tie one of these to one of the other strings that's there already from the end of our strap just to make sure that it's secure and then what you're going to want to do is work in all your loose ends after you work in all the loose ends you can also decide to make a trim around the straps on the uh, both sides uh, just with single crochets you just go in and make sure to put an even amount basically everywhere you could do that with one of the colors but here I decided I didn't want to do that but if you want to you can do it it's just literally single crochets and this is how the bag turned out I love it so much I love the color combination I love the size I'm just so happy with it if you make the bag you can tag me on Instagram so I can see what you made and yeah I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you have a really great day and I hope to see you all in the next video Bye everyone!